I'd like to uh, call to order the Naperville Park District Board of Commissioners regular meeting, August 13th, 2015. Time is 7 o'clock. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jackie, would you call the roll, please? Sorry, Bridget, just force a habit. <laughs> it says right here. I write it down every time so we don't forget. Uh, President Riley? Here. Vice President Janner? Here. Commissioner Ensign? Here. Commissioner Egan? Absent. Commissioner Heidi? Here. Commissioner Todd? Here. Commissioner Young? Absent. Thank you. The uh, first thing that we have on our agenda is uh, inter awards and recognition. Could I ask Commissioner Todd to uh, join me at the dais? Tonight I am uh, very pleased to honor the, uh, the work of Commissioner Todd in recognition of 10 years of service on the uh, Naperville Park District Board. Uh, during this 10 year period, she's helped oversee the development and renovation of many great facilities for the community, including the Frontier Sports Complex, Centennial Beach, Winding Creek Park, Meadow Glen's Nike Sports Complex, the Seeger Interpretive Center, and the Knock Knowles Nature Center. So we appreciate your work and we have a small remembrance to mark this 10-year uh, anniversary. So congratulations, and uh, thank you very much for your work. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on, speech. There was very few. Next, we'll move on to uh, updates and reports. First, uh, Riverwalk Commission update, Commissioner Heidi. Thank you, President Riley. The Riverwalk Commission met on Wednesday, August 11th, and we discussed numerous relevant issues. First was the budget. Due to the temporary cancellation of the 430 South Washington project, a $1.5 million placeholder, combined with the determination that reflashing and waterproofing Mosier Tower is not necessary, there is a budget surplus relative to capital projects. The source of funding for the Washington Street project was an OSLED grant, which has been canceled. This project will compete for funding through the city with all of the other short-term capital projects. The budget will be revised to reflect these new realities. We also discussed the current inventory of private Riverwalk-related capital projects. The Water Street project is progressing well as the new footing technology has proven to be effective and it was completed in a timely fashion. And the owners of the Dunkin' Donuts on Hillside in Washington have completed the access walk and they have been paid as agreed. Therefore, this project will not be discussed further. The last fling is rapidly approaching, so look for a flurry of activity on and around Rotary Hill. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have the uh, Parks Foundation update. The Naperville Parks Foundation has not had a formal meeting since the last report. One of the key goals of the foundation has been to raise money to provide funds for the Park District Scholarship Program. The com this community need has grown significantly in the past few years and promises to continue to grow in the near term. There have been some one-on-one -on -one conversations on this topic. And recently, Ray McGurry, Sue Standish, and I met with two foundation board members to brainstorm ideas that might better enable the foundation to achieve its mission objective. A next step is for our board to discuss how we might realign with the foundation for greater success. Next is uh, the president's report for August. Our report tonight is limited to thanking Commissioner Marie Todd on behalf of the residents of Naperville Park District. 
and her fellow commissioners with whom she has served. Her 10 years of positive input and effort have benefited our community. Thank you again, Marie, for your dedication towards improving the quality of life in Naperville. Thank you. Now our executive director's report. Thank you, President O'Reilly. Uh, some things to talk about here with uh, back to school time on the horizon. Actually, uh, I believe next week, District 203 starts. Our sites are quickly turning to fall, there's, although there's still plenty of time for summer weather to be enjoyed. Centennial Beach will be open daily through this Saturday, August 16th. After that date, though, the beach will be open uh, only on weekends through Labor Day. Although weather-wise, it seems like summer's just getting started. High school and college-age staff will be heading back to school after this weekend. This is the reason that the beach uh, transitions from daily operations to weekends only. For more information regarding our hours of operation, please visit centennialbeach.org. Thanks to everyone who has visited the beach and made this a great summer in spite of some challenging weather early in the, the season. Registration for all of our autumn programs is currently underway. This includes our very popular fall hay rides and Halloween themed programs. Again, additional information as well as our autumn uh, 2015 program guide can be viewed on our website at naprivilleparks.org. Through uh, this coming Sunday, August 16th, the Knocknolds Nature Center is featuring an art exhibit of Lucy Slavinsky and showcasing a work of art that she created with the assistance from the Naperville community last weekend. Visitors are invited to view the exhibit during regular hours of operation at the Nature Center. There is no charge to attend. Visitors can also uh, make a recycled uh, creation of their own to take home. Artist uh, Lucy Slavinsky also will discuss her work and answer questions at 3 p.m. on August 16th. It's time for the annual sale of our Brooks Advantage card at Springbrook and Naperville Golf Courses. Save 50% on 2015 Advantage cards and enjoy plenty of discounts this fall. Car hold, card holders save $5 off every game, every greens fee, and $1 off of every bucket of range balls in addition to discounts on golf merchandise and more. It's a great way to play uh, more golf and save some more green. And finally, all summer long, we've been asking our Riverwalk Eatery patrons for feedback regarding potential improvements to the facility and menu. If you'd like to uh, provide your thoughts and feedback, you may complete a survey through the end of this month. Hard copies of the surveys are available at the Riverwalk Eatery. Patrons also have the option of taking the survey online by visiting www.neighborvilleparks.org backslash Riverwalk Eatery. Thanks to everyone who has given their uh, feedback thus far. We greatly appreciate it. I believe as of today, Brad, we had about, what, seven, eight hundred? So we've had 700 respondents um, to uh, the survey, which I think was a phenomenal idea to get some really good feedback from people. So we'll be sharing that with the board uh, uh, soon here, and then uh, we're looking to, to get some direction from you on the eatery. And that's all I have. Thank you. Next, we have uh, approval of the treasurer's report. Move to approve the June 2015 treasurer's report. Second. We have motion and second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Vice President Jenner? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Yes. Commissioner Ensign? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Young? Yes. And President Riley? Yes. Next, we have the uh, consent agenda. Are there any items to be removed from the consent agenda? Can we uh, pull item H, please? Say again, which one, please? H is in Henry. Okay. Any other items to be pulled? Move to accept uh, consent agenda items A through G and items I through J. Second. Motion is a second. Is there any discussion? Call the roll, please. Vice President Janner? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner Ensign? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Young? President Riley? Yes. Move to approve consent agenda as accepted. Second. Motion to second any discussion? This is a voice vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Move to approve uh, item H from the consent agenda. Approve the agreement for the planning and operation of Naperville JC's 
Last Fling, 2015, 2016, and 2017. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion on the motion. Commissioner uh, Regan. I just, I'm a member of the JC, so I just need to abstain. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Call the roll, please. Vice President Jenner? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Abstain. Commissioner Ensign? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Young? President Riley? Yes. Commis Commissioner Todd? Yes. We have no unfinished business. Next, uh, future meetings. Uh, regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners, August 27th, 2015. That will be at 6 p.m. in the South Maintenance Facility, followed by September uh, 10th meeting, of regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners, 7 o'clock here uh, in Council Chambers. And then on September 24th, a regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners, 6 p.m. in the South Maintenance Facility. Next item on the agenda is executive session. Move to adjourn to executive session to discuss land acquisition under 2C5 of the Open Meetings Act. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Vice President Jenner? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner Ensign? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. President Riley? Yes.